Shalom. Father and son, singing together in the West Bank settlement of Tekoa, halfway between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Seems like a normal family scene, but when we delve into the life story of Abraham and William Cron, we find a story full of twists. My father had a special experience. It wasn't a dream, he wasn't asleep, and it wasn't a vision either. He didn't see it. This is what theology calls an intellectual vision, something inside of him that gave him a deep understanding about something. Born in 1942 to a Jewish family, Avram Kron survived the Holocaust in France as a toddler. Later, he lived his life as an atheist until an unexpected incident turned his life upside down. I was an antiquities dealer in Normandy. One day a woman came into my store. We talked a bit and she told me that she wants to arrange a prayer for us and our families. I told her that I'm Jewish, but I don't practice. She said it's fine. Everybody can be whatever you want. She also said that God is all full of love. After two weeks, she invited me for a coffee in her house to talk about God. We talked. I was very irrational. I told her that in order to believe in God, I need to see him. She said, yes, of course. I asked, how? She said, by praying. We prayed and then I felt like an empty vessel. I felt that something got inside of me and said, I'm in pain. I told her that I'm looking for an answer. I was in a great pain. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I heard God telling me that I need to be a bridge between the Jewish and the Christian people. Following this experience, Avram converted to Christianity and started to study and practice theology. In the early 1990s, Avram established a monastery in the Spanish city of Toledo. William followed in his footsteps. In 1992, the 500th anniversary to the expulsion of Jews from Spain, there was a big event called By My Spirit. The city of Toledo gave back the keys to the city to Spanish Jews in a symbolic way. Around 3,000 people, Jews, attended, including some famous figures. My dad, who was a Catholic monk, was also invited. The people there welcomed him with love and joy. He understood that God created Jews and Christians like man and woman. Each one has a different identity, but together they complete each other. The second turning point came in 2020, following the coronavirus pandemic. All of our activities were completed. Also, Toledo's bishop was replaced by a new one. And this year, we found out that the relations with the monks in Toledo were not the same. We felt that my father and I just got in their way. Relations with the new bishop were also not the same as before. So we decided to leave. We didn't know what to do, but we knew that we were done there. Dad said, I want to go home to Israel. But even when William arrived in Israel, it took some time for him to realize that he wanted to convert to Judaism and leave his long-lasting identity as a Catholic priest. The rabbi's wife, Renana, told me, you want to connect to Judaism, but you'll have to give up Jesus. You'll have to give up the Christian faith. Back then, I thought I could live both lives together. I saw that I couldn't go on like this. My dad told me once that whenever I need to decide between two options, put one of the options in one hand and the other option in the other hand. Consider both and choose fast. I put Judaism in the right hand and I saw light, peace, love and harmony on the right hand, and nothing was left in the left hand. Recently, Avram presented an art exhibition which showcases his paintings throughout the years. The exhibition was on display at the Shlomo Hall adjacent to the big synagogue of Jerusalem. People who watch my artwork feel something. I also combined elements from Kabbalah and mysticism. 
dulcísima, como suave nostalgia. William's next goal is to establish a tourist farm in Tekoa. Meanwhile, the Kron family are adjusting to their new life and their new identity in the Holy Land. 